Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. Girl, listen, my name is Sebastian, and I am your new messy bestie who spills pop culture tea, okay? And we gotta talk, okay? We gotta talk about these influencers. We have to talk about Billie Eilish. We gotta talk about the People's Choice Awards. We gotta talk about TikTok, bitch. We gotta talk about MySpace. We gotta talk about all of it, okay? But I want you to do me a favor, okay, best friend? I want you to grab a snack and a drink. I want you to sit tight. I want you to put that pillow over your tummy. Well, I don't know if you guys do this. This is something I always do, bitch. I cannot be seated nowhere without putting a damn pillow over my damn tummy okay anyways i just feel safe it's like girl nobody's gonna get me you know what i mean i just feel so safe and yes okay maybe you know what i'm not gonna start talking about uh young 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 sebastian triggers right now because we gotta just talk about this best friend so listen the people's choice awards came and it came and gone okay and i don't know about you best friend but Award shows don't hit the same as they used to. They just don't. And it sucks because I love award shows. You know, I love preparing for them best. And I like waking up in the morning. I like sitting, you know, getting getting all my snacks ready. I, like, I love award shows, but now they're just a little bit boring. But drama always spices it up, honey. So listen, there's a clip going around of Billie Eilish that has just kind of caused so much commotion. The TikTokers are ticking, the, the Instagrammers are gramming, the YouTubers are 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 are, are, are opering, and you know, everyone is just going ballistic. So check this clip out of Billie Eilish and then we can talk. <laughs> Listen, you know, she said in the video, girl, there's some TikTokers, we don't need it, you know, whatever, right? Um, there was a lot of a lot of influencers at the People's Choice Awards, okay? Amongst the influencers, there was Tana Mojo, there was James, whoa, 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 Charles, there was Zaddy Chris Olsen, okay? Gigi Gorgeous was there. I mean, there was so many influencers, okay? And I'll tell you something, all right? This is the People's Choice Awards, right? Just keep that in mind. This is not the damn Oscars, okay? This is not even the Emmys. This is not, you know, the Grammys, right? These are the People's Choice Awards. And how do they choose, you know, the, the winners? Well, by their phones, right? They don't, they don't tie their vote to a pigeon and it goes flying to the damn People's Choice Award headquarters, you know? You do it by phone, and who's on the phone, and, and who are people looking on the phone? Mostly they're looking at influencers, best friend, because a lot of these celebrities, bitch, they don't even have social media, okay? So, the influencers going to the People's Choice Awards, girl, I thought it was, abs I thought it was like peanut butter and jelly, bitch, it goes great together, unless you have a peanut allergy, best friend. You know, then you don't want to, you don't want to mix those. You could mix Nutella. Oh, no, no, because that has a peanut too, right? Well, bitch, I don't know, bitch, you're fucked. I, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Um, just put a jelly sandwich, okay, bitch? Um, but listen, you know, I, I felt like the People's Choice Awards is the perfect award show. I cannot imagine Tana Mojo and the damn Oscars, bitch. That would be a fucking mess, okay? But I definitely could see these influencers, these TikTokers there. I don't know why James Charles was there, but okay, girl, that's another, that's another thing I will say, okay? Um, listen... So there was a lot of influencers who actually had a really big issue with Billie Eilish's comment, like Bryce Hall. Check this out. I'm just gonna address this clip of Billie Eilish being disgusted that TikTokers were at uh, the People's Choice. I was one of them. First off, Billie Eilish, I am so sorry uh, that I didn't acknowledge your greatness and bow down to you being another human being. I, but here, there it is right now. And second, um, People's Choice invited us personally. Uh, everyone that attended People's Choice and was sitting at those tables, we were invited by People's Choice. So, hate on them. But the most sad thing, let me just wipe my tear real quick. The most sad thing is, what I, I, was, a, I was a Billie Eilish stan. I stand you, Billie Eilish. So listen, you know, here's the thing about, about A-list celebrities, right? Well, you have the singers, you have the actors, right? And I have them here, and then here I have influencers and reality TV stars, right? Well, check this out. A-list celebrities, singers, actors, they have been the definition of celebrity for many, many years, right? Since the very beginning of celebrity, right? And then comes reality TV, right? And I think it was mainly, you know, I think reality TV was really put on the map from, you know, 
Paris and Nicole's The Simple Life, The Kardashians. You know, there was like other kind of reality shows like The Real World and stuff, but these people like Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie, The Kardashians, they started it all. The Osbournes, right? You know, there was a lot of reality TV. Then comes like the Ashley Simpson show, the Jessica Simpson show, but they were of course singers, right? But the Kardashians were not known, right? Paris and Nicole, you know, obviously coming from very famous families, but they were not, you know, like known, you know, that much until, you know, boom, they exploded. So here's the thing. It all started with them. Now with reality TV, A-list celebrities, they've had the same issue that, you know, we do now with influencers, right? Because back then they're like, well, you know, they're not real celebrities. They just, you know, they don't really do anything. They don't have any talent, like Barbara Walters would say, right? May she rest in peace, you know? And, and you know, there's even this law in the Hollywood Walk of Fame that, you know, no reality TV stars will ever be getting a, a star on the Walk of Fame because they're not considered real celebrities, right? But then we saw what happened like with the with the blast of the Kardashians cuz say what you want about them I mean damn you know so the Kardashians definitely came in and just showed the A-list celebrities that their star is huge in their own right right so that kind of started leveling up because the ratings of the Kardashians or the people waiting for them at events or you know the sales of whatever product they would have would overshadow any other, you know, huge A-list celebrity, you know, at the time. So then comes the influencers, right? And you get the same energy. Oh my God, they're not real celebrities. They're just online things, you know, online celebrities. It's not, but you have to understand that these influencers, they probably have 10 times more followers than these A-list celebrities. And who are the followers? They're the people, right? So in the People's Choice Awards, who do you want to be there? I guess the People's Choice of influencers as well, right? Because they are, they are celebrities. These influencers are today's celebrities. And A-list artists, I love Billie Eilish, but I'm so sorry. These award shows, they invite the influencers because they know that people are watching, you know? Especially, you know, online, people are watching Chris Olsen's, you know, Instagram, people are watching Gigi Gorgeous, people are watching Tiana Mojo, people are watching, you know, all these celebrities, and they have huge followings, therefore, it, 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 it translates to ratings for the award shows, and award shows, their ratings have not been great the past couple of years, so these award shows have to branch out and say, okay, who's going to bring in the ratings? Of course, Billie Eilish, will, you know, her fans will bring it. But, you know, I'm sorry, these influencers, some of them have 10 times more followers than, than Billie Eilish herself. So they know that these, these, these massive, massive influencers will bring in ratings will make the crowds go crazy, will have Twitter or X, you know, on fire, will have the TikTok videos going viral. That's what they want. They don't care anymore, right? Now, I don't see Tana Mojo walking up and down the damn red carpet anytime soon, right, at the Oscars, but the People's Choice Awards, the Teen Choice Awards, the, uh, the Kids' Choice Awards, you know, the VMAs, those type of award shows, I think, are like the more fun ones, right? You know, Billboard, American Music Awards, you know, but the Grammys and the Emmys and the Oscars, I do feel like that's kind of like elite for the people who are in the actual industry, right? Trust and believe, girl. No, you know, I was... James Charles not going to be nominated for no damn Grammy, okay, girl? Okay? So listen... I honestly just feel like, girl, let these influencers influence. You know, I don't see anything wrong with it. Now, there is a, a video of James Charles, Gigi Gorgeous, and Chris Olsen asking Halle Bailey, our Ariel, for a picture. And that is what people are saying. This proves their point as to why TikTokers, influencers cannot and should not be at award shows. Bitch, if I saw Ariel at an, a damn award show, of course I'd be on my best behavior, but I would go up there in commercial break and just go, ah, 
No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. But I saw all these celebrities roaming around and guess what? They got the same invite than the damn influencers, okay? And I'm so sorry, but that's the damn truth. Uh, your invite says uh, uh, RSVP to the people's choice. So we'll go, bitch, mind us too, okay, girl? Seriously. So I just, I, I, I understand, but I, I understand to a, a point, but I also have to say, like, if you still think that these huge influencers don't have power, you know, they're called influencers for a reason. You know, brands are, are reaching out to influencers more than they do to celebrities nowadays. You know what I mean? Every other day, these huge TikTokers are getting endorsements from huge companies that they usually would only work with celebrities. But people know that influencers are the new celebrities. People know that influencers bring influence, okay? And if Michaela, okay, she says, Kim Kardashian, you know, if the bitch says that, you know, this Revlon uh, 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 lip gloss is fucking amazing, it's gonna sell out in two seconds. You know, if Chris Olsen says, you know, oh, my coffee's the best bitch, people are gonna buy that damn coffee, you know? So that's why people are, you know, who are smart and who are understanding of today's society will automatically invite these influencers because they know thousands and thousands are watching their stories. So thousands of thousands of just one influencer will tune in to the People's Choice Award to see if they see their, their favorite celebrity. Do you know what I mean? So I just, I really don't see the issue, girl. Billie Eilish, like, I get it. But, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> we all started from, from somewhere, bitch, okay? So we cannot let our egos get in the way from nobody, okay? Nobody's better than nobody, all right? And I'm, ta I'm sorry, but I have to say it's time to rise and shine and wake up and understand that this is the world we are living in, okay? And influencers, honestly, you know what? They make the world, they make a world a really better place because they're so fucking messy, you know? And they're they're not so controlled like these A-list celebrities. So I'm living for it, honey. I mean, Tana Mojo and the damn red carpet, you know that's going to be a mess. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm living for it. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that influencers should not go to these type of award shows? I think that they should go to some, but especially they should go to the damn People's Choice Awards because the people are the ones who are choosing. Do you know what I mean? So, girl, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that follow and follow this, an aspiring influencer. Okay, girl, I gotta go. Anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys at the People's Choice Awards. Mwah. Bye.